Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is kind of a special uh, episode. This is a uh, build episode, kind of goes along with a couple little things we've had in the past, uh, and I just kind of wanted to share this with you. What's uh, going on is uh, I like to do some skateboarding and stuff like that, and of course I like to kind of design the way my skateboards are. The skateboard that I have right now that I use is uh, very customized. I bought a lot of separate parts and uh, put them together and it's much different than what a standard skateboard is. Uh, I wanted something a little smaller, some kind of uh, travel type of type of board, but I still wanted it to be very versatile and kind of good for uh, cruising and carving and things like that. So I went ahead and I picked up a couple of uh, trucks here. Now as you can see these are uh, different trucks than normal. They are very wide which is uh, because they are set for being longboard trucks. I like having things changed up. I don't like having all the same stuff. So I got a black one and then I've got the multicolored one. Uh, these are some old wheels that I had before that were on my other skateboard. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start off with these. These are shred boots and these are 70 millimeter wheels. And then I also went ahead and got some clear grip tape. To make this uh, different than what most skateboards are, there are some that are out there but they're just not common. Definitely can't get this from uh, Zoomies yet. This is actually the skateboard. This is only roughly about 18 inches long. So uh, a very short board. Uh, now I took this and as you can see it's folded over. I uh, went ahead and designed it out. And uh, pretty, pretty simple type design, kind of an egg shape almost, or maybe even more like an, actually very much looks like an apple seed, I guess. So what will happen is we'll lay this down flat and the wheels face towards the outside and we will have the wheels like this. So you can see they do hang over quite a bit. Uh, the wheelbase will be almost 18 inches when you're going from the center of the uh, axle there between each other. So uh, very, very uh, long in that aspect for the length of the actual board. But uh, so there we go. That's, uh, that's kind of what those are. And I do actually have a piece of wood right here. You can kind of see here in the background. We'll bring it up. And this is a piece of uh, birch plywood. And uh, on this, I have it already kind of laid out or have an idea on what I'm going to do with it. You can see there's obviously lots of, uh, you know, grain on this. And if you can see some of these uh, marks here, those are actually bird's eyes on these. And so I'm going to try and incorporate a few of those into the top of the board. Now this is a quarter inch plywood. Uh, I am only going to do three layers of this, which are going to be about three quarters of an inch thick for the board. All right, so I've got the, all the pieces cut that I'm going to use. Um, here's one that uh, I believe this one's going to be the top. I'm still at a toss up with that because it could be this one or I could use this one here. Uh, the only downside to this one is because of this light spot. I don't really care for that, but I do like these little bird's eyes that are on it and some of this grain work. Okay, everybody, I just uh, got a basic cut out of this. As you can see, I've got it all taped down and uh, I got it trimmed out. Just use the, uh, the bandsaw right here and uh, just real, real rough. Right now, you can see it's not real smooth or anything. I'm going to take, and I am, I'm not going to take it all the way down to the paper. I am going to leave it a little bit proud and make it a little bit wider than it was. It's still going to be roughly about the same length though. Uh, but I'm going to take these sides down by sanding them on the disc sander. See, I've got a couple holes started. I left the paper on it just to give me some referencing uh, and so I'm not drying on the wood too much. But you can see this line that I have here. Uh, that's actually the center of balance so obviously it doesn't fit with that original rectangle that I put in there. Uh, those centers are going to be um, the center of the radiuses for the outside edge so 
It's not gonna be square like that box, it's gonna be rounded on the sides. So as you can see, I knocked out the center there after I got the holes drilled. I did it with a jigsaw and uh, then kind of hit it a little bit with uh, some files. And then I went over to this side, uh, same thing, but you can see here the sides are rounded over. I used a quarter inch roundover bit in my router. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, do it for this one. So here we go, got the whole thing radiused over and everything, and uh, now what we need to do is get the marks done and the holes drilled so that we can put the, uh, put the trucks on. Alright everybody, you can uh, see I have stained one side of this. I got in there and stained inside of the hand holds and around the outside. And then uh, all that stuff there you can see is tape. That is to protect the underside of it because I did not want that stained. I wanted the very natural wood finish. Okay, everybody, so here we go. Finished board. And uh, you can see that nice kind of golden color. Now it is um, a bit darker. Uh, the way this records the ice is a little high. But you can see I've got, uh, obviously the holes are all drilled out. Uh, I'll explain some of the stuff you're seeing here in just a minute. But uh, it does have a really nice look to it. And uh, from this angle you can't see some of, the, some of the things that are kind of special about it. If we tilt it a little bit, you can see this has a really high glossy kind of finish. I did uh, kind of polish this up. And then let's go ahead and flip it over. This is our own custom World of Me board. Uh, that is print. It is uh, directly from the printer. I uh, used a bubble jet and uh, was able to get in, uh, do a reverse print and print it down on this. Uh, now, it, it's as you can see, there are some areas where it's kind of light. It was a little bit light there. Um, it's kind of this is actually because of the wood grain you can see the wood grain come through you can see that bird's eye right there the bottom as you can see is just a natural wood tongue I did not do any staining to it there uh, but then again as you can see it is a very shiny finish uh, I tried to get that to, as clean as possible uh, since they do not make uh, side rails you know, or nose guards or anything like that for a board shape like this I basically kind of cut customized my own uh, obviously this is not like a big thick piece of plastic it's really kind of like a bug guard that you would put on the front of your car and but instead of it being as solid as a bra you just spray it on you can still see the coloration without completely changing the look of like your vehicle and so the same here it's still has uh, some of the colors. Obviously, it's muted because of the little bit of a, a white tinge to it. All right, all right, go for it. Pull it out. That'll do it for me guys. Um, this was the, uh, obviously the 
Appleseed Longboard Bill here from World of Me. Uh, my name's Cougar. This is the World of Me. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.